Well, it's good. You know, it's good to be home now. We've got a seven-game homestand, you know, kind of makes up for our tough schedule early. Uh, for a long time there, we played more road games than any team in the league. So now we have to come back and take care of home. Home is not going to take care of us. That was a message today that uh, teams going to come into our house trying to take take our home court away from us, and we've got to do a better job of of uh, having a toughness and an us against the world mentality here at home. Seven games almost too long to be at home. It is, but uh, how many road games have we had? You know, I, I'd rather have it stressed out, but again, it's the, what the league gave us. We got to make sure we take care of it. We can't get comfortable at home because a lot of times what happens is your family, friends, everybody sees that seven game stretch. Oh, that's a good time to go visit so and so. So now, all at once, you're out of your routine, uh, you're distracted a little bit. So, we've got to make sure we take care of all that and uh, keep our focus on our, on our business. You're also going into game 41, which is a halfway point. Uh, where do you think you are and where do you think you have to go? Uh, well, again, we're in the top 10 in both defense and offense. We can always get better in both categories. Uh, one thing lately is playing with leads, understanding time score situations uh, when you have the basketball or when you're on defense. Uh, those things are, are really important. Uh, three point shooting, we're 28th and uh, giving up three point shooting percentage against us. So that's an area. But also, too, we're number four in the league uh, in protecting the paint, number two in protecting the rim. So we're doing some good things, but there's always areas as a team, defense and offense, you can get better at. Consistency would be the one thing to look for over the last 40. Well, it would be, you know, again, playing with the lead. You know, you play well, then all at once you play like you've never seen each other the next four or five possessions. So it goes to the word consistency. You can always work to be consistent uh, in everything we do. So, uh, you know, again, we're not, a, not, we're not a finished product, even though it's game 40, 41. There's still a lot of growth. Uh, there's been a lot of changes in the lineup, out of the lineup. So we've been a, a, a team in flux trying to find each other as these 40 games. So it's not like we've had the same guys or same units for 40 games. So um, you know, that's been a little bit part of our inconsistency also. Over the last couple of years, you have hoped to get both DeMar and Kyle in the All-Star game. But especially last year with DeMar's injury, you sort of understood that it might not be the most realistic thing. This year, with both of them playing so well, with you guys playing well, how would you assess the chances of both of them getting well, here? Both of them, both of them, Josh, are, are all-star players. They deserve to be in the all-star game. Now, the politics of it, the voting and all that stuff, you know, who can control that? You know, you can work as hard as you can to get the votes, but at the end of the day, it, that is what it is. I know in my heart of hearts that Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan are all-stars. I've been in this thing too long and seen too many good players to not understand they're all-star players. Uh, again, some of it's going to determine on how we end up going into the all-star voting or all-star break, whatever it is, as a, as a team, wins and losses. Uh, but, you know, we got to let the chips fall where they may. But whatever happens, after the all-star break, we got to come out as a unit and either prove them right or prove them wrong one way or the other. And that's the way you can, uh, can help, help this organization, help your teammates.